Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. Today, finally with Senpai Goddess Haven, Volume 4. And yeah, maybe you have seen my community post or like on, on Instagram that I got sent the, the wrong box. I got sent the Lucky Goddess box first, which was in the end pretty, pretty nice actually. Like I got some nice pulls. I did record it or I published it on, on Patreon where I yeah, mostly try to share like the, the 18 plus stuff because yeah, it's getting demonetized and I, I will try to, to get like with the money from Patreon, I will try to get more of these loot boxes because I simply cannot buy them all with my own money anymore. So yeah, that's just a way for, for me to be still able to, to show you some of the boxes because yeah, many, uh, many sets I have skipped in the past months, as you can probably can tell from my unboxings. It's just too many and I I cannot keep up. But yeah, finally volume 4. But first I want to, to thank a special channel member, which is Man in Tatooine. Thank you so much for joining the Waifu Entrepreneur uh, membership. So yeah, this means a lot to me. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And yeah, now jump into the box. We got a we got a box topper pack. And yeah, I already maybe some some of you have seen an unboxing from another YouTuber. I think like Mike Mikey Enemy Hide Hole has opened this too. And yeah, they they did change some things for for this release. Like the the first volume was pretty nice. You got like a a nice hit in every pack and then they reduced like the number of high hits to three per box which was yeah very sad and they also had like from volume two onwards they had quality issues like a lot i remember that in squishy i remember that in, in volume two or three i i got a high hit but the the gold stamp was missing was like an SSP and the name wasn't really and I've seen like some quality issues from from other people too. So yeah, in this pack we got five cards. They are thin with round edges. I like that. And also like the back of the cards looks quality. They are separated by colors. Yeah, the the rarities you can tell them from the back. And yeah, this Yalen the foiling looks a little bit dark. I think this is an issue with maybe with all UR cards or maybe just with Yelan. But I remember seeing this issue with other uh, with other boxes too and a ZR. So two hits per one pack. In the, in the previous set, this would be like already most of the, the hits are gone from this box. But yeah, I really like that they have increased the numbers of hits again for this box. And I will I will leave a link to the store, to the Goddess Story store, and to the box in the video description so you can find it more easily. And yeah, we got Roxy from Mushukai Tensei. Yeah, but it, it has really liked this CGI rendering. Looks like they they use a lot of these uh, AI art now to Rava Hanako. Yeah, this time the it's okay. It's a UR again, and it it's not faded or not not so dark. I don't know what's wrong with Yalen. Like the the layering, there's something really going wrong. But this is looking nice, and there's some texture in the background. There are no, maybe this is uh, for a higher rarity. Yes, okay. I just wanted to talk about that. There is no outline gold stamp effect for the URs. I really like how thin the cards are. Like with a lot of these AliExpress boxes, the cards, especially like the higher hit, they get so thick with multiple layers and it's so annoying to put them into a binder. Yeah, usually like the pockets of the binder they they get loose after some time or like when you decide to use a 
a binder for other cards again. They they have a lot of space in the pocket after you you use them for the thick cards when they when they fit at all. Remember some of the thicker cards they don't even fit into the pockets. But yeah, what can we say to the chosen characters? I have to say, like, yeah, of course, like Uta or Roxy. But now I get it, I get like some characters that I don't remember. Iria the Water Charmer. Again, it's like the CGI rendering. But so far, like the quality is looking. <laughs> wow, okay, what's happening here? Uh, this is Jessie from Pokemon, but it looks like she, she did a fusion with Miltank, <laughs> with the Pokemon. Uh, I will not explain why I think that, but I don't remember Jessie from my childhood like this. <clears throat> but yeah, they... Oh boy, I have to... I have to turn the card. Oh, I just cannot concentrate anymore. Okay, yeah, this is something they... I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm dumb. Now, uh, this is the box topper. I wanted to open it uh, as the last pack to make it, like, really cool, but I'm not cool. And I just met mess things up. But, yeah, they, for some reason, I don't know why, to me it makes not a lot of sense because it's just, from a manufacturer standpoint, a lot more work to mix like these thin cards with thicker cards and yeah they they did it for this release i don't know but we got prince eugen or eugene but she's like the the german girl and yeah uh, i think this a lot of people will stop the video at this timestamp for some reason i i just and I know my audience, probably. So sometimes, sometimes YouTube is like showing like a spike in in viewer retention or like viewer where they stopped the video or they replayed it. I my guess is uh, that's that's that was the point. Uh, okay, this is just labeled Azelane. It's the game, but I don't know if there's like the character. Just with the name, that's weird. We get a duplicate as you are. That's sad. I don't know how big the set is, like how many different UR cards are there, but uh, getting duplicates is always sad. And we get an MR, and the MR cards are thick, but not too thick. Like, I actually like the thickness. Yeah, of course, they are th thick more or more thick than the the regular cards but compared to other to other cards not that bad okay that's cool and they are not this curved like sometimes from the from the packs they already are like pringles oh okay yeah mr card there's some gold outlines in the hair that's not that bad. So I didn't I didn't count it uh, how many big hits were there from the from the unboxings I saw, but I think there are like many oh yeah, Pokemon Girls, not a fan of these. Uh, there are many hits. Raiden Shogun. Okay. And another set are Ni no Nakano from the Quintuplets. That's actually kind of cute. So yeah, she has like a cleavage. But that's a, actually like a cute artwork. They're still very, very much focused on like beach artworks, like bikini artworks. But yeah, the the border and everything is like still the same as we have seen from, from previous releases. Oh, I think there is some something going wrong in the hollow foil. There are like all these dots and this not looking like okay. 
I don't know. Uh, another quintuplet. You are, yeah. And of course, this video will get monetized, of course. Another Jesse Miltank fusion. Oh boy. But yeah, I will. So the plan is I will get another box from this set from a viewer who is so nice to send this to me to open it to, to show you. And uh, yeah, but I plan to do this for, for Patreon. As I said, I'm, I really have to, to see how I... Oh, I'm still able in the future, kicking, that's nice, to to get most boxes because I I really enjoy the unboxings and I really like when people uh, write in the comments like, oh, I, I didn't bought the box because uh, you showed me that it's a bad box and I, I really love this, but I have to admit I just don't have this kind of money and it's not like YouTube is making like any money, like really. So, yeah, I started to get monetized for some videos, but especially like the AliExpress boxes are not monetized. And even if they were monetized, they are just like one or two dollar per video. Even that's not even the case most of the time. So, yeah, ZR of Hinata. Yeah, they... They are all very, very healthy in this set, I would say. Very healthy. But from the character choice, I don't know, I still think there is like... Or there are like characters we we should add, or we should see more. Still very much focused on Genshin. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! And yeah, Genshin and Asia Lane Girls and... I think we need a little bit more uh, from other characters or other shows or franchises. So now we can compare. So for some reason I thought that all URs of Yelin are like this, but they actually are regular looking Yelins. That's cool. Now we can really compare what's what's wrong with the with the right UR. Ah, but we are getting duplicates. So yeah, I I have to look at the the card list or card gallery if I can find it to to get an opinion about all of the duplicates because of course when they when they include like a big hit in every pack and the UR and ZR cards there aren't that many different ones of course you get duplicates but yeah. Sometimes it's it's feeling like it's a little bit too much. Uh, Z of Kikyo from Inuyasha. Yeah, that's a that's an anime we don't see this often, or like a character. Yeah, I don't even think that we got like really Kagome as a character this often, but yeah, I don't even feel like this is a character to to loot this much. Uh, Gagura, but somehow very childish, not a fan. Uh, Marin Kiragawa, always a nice hit. You are? Ooh, and the ZR of Rei Ayanami with long hair. So, but I don't know, is this from the artwork or is she like drooling? There's like something on, on her mouth or running from her mouth. Probably just an... An error in the in the hollow foil, but overall, compared to the previous releases, especially like the, I think volume three followed pretty fast after volume two, and I think this was the time where they had like the most quality issues. Uh, S P E Zumi Sagiri. Eh, where's my focus? Don't know this character. Looks pretty young. Not a big fan of these ones. As long as we don't get like a loot Kana, then I would really have to... Yeah, maybe... Maybe if they are like very 
bad characters or like some pictures I really don't want to show, I will cut them out. So if there's like a a weird cut somewhere, that's the reason. <laughs> Another Hinata. But yeah, I I cannot really complain. Like of course, yeah, you get duplicates, but uh we are getting like a lot a lot more hits and the price for this for this box is not higher than the previous releases. But overall, maybe to criticize something, it's like the characters chosen for the SSR. Because so far, I'm just like, whatever. So, oh, where XR? Oh, that's a cute one. And she has like this gold outline effect. Is it numbered? No. But yeah, the quality for these thicker cards is really good. The edges are fine. Yeah. This is good quality. Sometimes you have like whitening at the edges from the cutting process. But this is really good. Really, really good. But yeah, I, I just don't recognize really like a lot of the a lot of the lower rarity characters. Not super resonating with me. Ganyu, again, I think. And another, okay, this is the third that are. So I hope I, I don't get like the same cards over and over and there are still like many, many other ZR cards that I'm missing, but we will, we will see it like maybe next month when I, when I get my second box, another XR. Venti? Is this a trap? <laughs> I thought Venti is a guy. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know things, but another XR. So yeah, I'm... I'm actually really happy with the thicker cards for this release. They are really cool. Luca? I don't remember this one. Yeah. And this is like a game. Maybe the character has the same name, but I think Nikki was a game. Again, we have this weird boiling misprint effect. And another chess. So, yeah, last pack from, from this box. Let me know what do you think. Or maybe you have you have gotten your own boxes. Uh, what was your favorite hit from, from your box? Are there like any special rarities that I didn't got? Like anything above, I would say XR. What was like my highest rarity? I don't remember. Another Ganju with this dark foiling. And Emma of Atago. Ah, oh, that's a cute one too. It's not too much. Yeah. It's not like too much nudity. I think at some point like nudity gets kind of boring. To be honest, like, but yeah, let's end the video with one force of will pack. As I'm still looking for the Anubis secret rare. One one nice day I will have this card for my collection. But yeah, please please check out my my channel for more unboxings or uh, check out my my Patreon if you want to support the channel directly. And we end up with a samurai kitty cat. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.